Let's talk about a two-step binomial tree now. Here are the two formulas that we're going to need. The first one is to calculate the current value of the call option. So f is the current value of any option actually, so of the option. It can be either a call option or a put option. Then we have p, which is the probability, and I'll go into more detail of what this probability is next slide. Then we have RF, which is the risk-free rate. And then finally, we have U, which is the magnitude of an up jump. and D, the magnitude of a down jump. So basically U is when you go up in the binomial tree and D is when you go down. Okay, so by how much is it going up and by how much is it going down. Okay, so let's put this into practice with an exercise. The exercise says a stock price is currently $100. Over each of the next two six-month periods, it is expected to go up by 10% or down by 10%. The risk-free rate is 8%. What is the value of a one-year European call option with a strike price of $100? Now, the important thing here is that we're dealing with a European call option. Call option is when you make money when the share price is higher than the strike price. Okay, and this is a two step binomial tree because this is a one year call option and we're talking about a two six month period. Okay, so let's draw the binomial tree. Now, the stock price is currently a hundred dollars, so we, th we start with the hundred dollars, then we go up once. Now, in order to calculate what the share prices are going to be at this stage, we need U and D. So we said U is the magnitude of an up jump. In order to calculate this, we need to do one plus the percentage by which it's going up. In this case, it says it's expected to go up by 10% or down by 10%. So one plus 10% in decimal places, one plus 0 0.1 is equal to 1.1. In order to find D, the magnitude of a down jump, we do 1 minus the 10% because it goes down by 10%. And this is 0 0.9. Therefore, now what we do, in order to find the share prices, we do $100 times U. So 100 times 1.1 is 110. And 100 times 0 0.9 is $90. Below the share prices, we normally write the call option values. In this case, we know it's F. However, we don't know the value yet, so we just write F equals. Under 110, we have FU. And under, under 90, we have FD. Okay. And because this is a two-step, we have to go up one more time up and down okay now again we do the same process in order to find the share price we do 110 times u when it goes up so 110 times 1.1 in this case is 121 when it goes down so 110 times 0 0.9 this gives us 99 now as you can see here, both these lines meet. Therefore, this means you can get the same answer whether you do 110 times 0 0.9 because it goes down or whether you do $90 times 1.1, which is when it goes up. Finally, the last share price would be $90 times 0 0.9 and this gives us 81. Okay. 
Excellent. Now we have all the share prices. The option price below 121 would be FUU because we've gone up twice. At 99, it can either be FUD or FDU. You choose which to write. They both mean the same. So FUD because it's gone up once, it's gone down once. Or you could write FDU because it's gone down once and gone up. You choose. And finally at 81, we have FDD because it's gone down twice. Excellent. Now, in order to find out the option uh, values at the last period, we need to do we need to see if the investor is making any money on it. Remember, we said a call option or an option, the definition of an option is that it gives you the right, not the obligation to exercise the option. Therefore, the investor would only exercise such, such an option if he's making money on it. Because this is a call option, not a put option, the investor makes money when the share price goes up. If it were a put option, the investor makes money when it goes down. To see if the investor has made any money here, we need to do the share price, in this case is 121, minus the strike price. As we can see, the investor here has made $21. Okay, Therefore, the call option value at this point is $21. But what about 99? The story is different here. Because the strike price is $100 and here the share price is $99, the investor is losing money. Okay. Therefore, if he's not making any money on this option, the option wouldn't be exercised, right? Otherwise, he would be losing money. Therefore, the option here is worthless. The story is the same for $81. Because the $81 is lower than the strike price, the option as well is worthless because the investor wouldn't exercise it. Excellent. Now we have the option values at this period. Now, in a two-step binomial tree, you can either go back manually, period by period. For instance, now that we have FUU and FUD, we could go back using the formula for a one period binomial tree in order to find out FU. Okay? And then we would do the same for FD. Once we have FU and FD, we would again go back to find F, the current option value. Okay? However, there is a formula that simplifies this process for us, which by knowing the probability which we're going to calculate, the risk free rate which we're given, which is 8%, and then FUU, FUD, and FDD, so the option prices in the last period, we can directly go to F and find F, okay, which is what the question is asking. Before we move on to that, let's calculate the probability. Now, I forgot to write down that we know that the risk free rate is 8%. Okay. Therefore, we can calculate the probability. The probability is 1 plus the risk-free rate, so which in decimal places is 0 .0, 0 0.08. So 1 plus that is 1.08 minus D, which we know is 0 0.9, over U minus D, 1.1 minus 0 0.9. This would give us 0 0.9 when we plug it in the calculator. So as I said before, I said I would explain in more detail what the probability is. The probability is the probability of the share price going up. Okay, We know by how much it's going to go up, and that's u, the magnitude, but we need to know with what probability is it going to go up. And then 1 minus p would be the probability of the share price going down. So p is 0 0.9, and 1 minus p is 0 0.1. Excellent. Now that we have this, we can compute all the values we have into the formula for f. So f 
would be equal to p squared, which is 0 0.9 squared times fuu, which we know is 21, plus 2 times p, 0 0.9, times 1 minus p, which is 0 0.1, times fud, which is 0, plus 1 minus p, which we know is 0 0.1 squared, times 0, which is FDD, over 1 plus the risk-free rate squared. So 1 plus 1.08, sorry, squared. Okay. Now remember, anything times 0 is 0. So we can get rid of this part and this part. And we are left with F being 0 0.9 squared times 21 over 1.8 squared. Let's see what we'll get when we plug this into the calculator. We get that F is equal to 14.58. Therefore, this is the current value of a one-year European call option with a strike bias of 100. Okay. Now, in order to, for you to check if you really understand this concept, try and do the same exact ex exercise, but with a put option. And let me know down in the comments if you know how to do it.